later on. These are the fidget plays. Feed your eyes on them. They are really good looking, guys, by the way. Same being Luxie 98 Jumper and Aikuda. Well, these handsome guys, not just good looking, they are pretty their best players for their own respective teams when it comes to Sunhog map. Hmm, good looking guys. I don't see my picture up there, but okay, never mind there. But <laughs> Here we go, so Luxy with total of 10 kills there. He's catching up there, but look at the flight path. It's really on the western side of the map here. So we may see, well, in the, in the circle, that is, uh, is as what we always say, it goes on the opposite side. It could be a kind circle here, but we are holding our breath on the circle. Let, look at this, the circle. Yes, it's pretty much kind, especially for this kind of map, Sano, where there's lots of water. This kind of circle, it's a nice circle overall. But still, it's kind of hard those actually playing on the smaller islands here because the bridge cam will probably be real. But like I said before, this is a wild card game. Axis MP has already engaged towards Dingles there. We can see the flares, all the signals coming from that team. Pinon again, a four secret. Some teams going around docks and whatsoever. Resurgence still planning down on Paradise Resort. But we're hovering around Paradise Resort and Bun is not really a long distance journey for them. So maybe Paradise Resort, they want to hover this one for a bit. Maybe the teams come out from Kao. Um, will have to pass through paradise resort if they want ended up in bun or even cap bravo at this point because the circle is kind of unpredictable again when it comes to the last circle around ruins well i exist they need to get out from here because they need to swim or dingles are actually camping out of their outskirts their app is far away from the rest of the team so Sun is kind of far apart from the rest of the team now, Kratos is already down back in the lobby the moment they dropped Mm, it's not fun being him for now. Mm, it's definitely not fun being him. We can see he is actually not moving. He doesn't want to give away his footsteps early on. So he's playing this really, really chill for now. Definitely not much loot onto him. But look at this. Maisel and Mosgoku, they are in the same compound. Now, Mosgoku is just waiting on the other side, just sensing out where Maisel is. Maisel, lots of movement for him. So Mosgoku definitely knows that someone is in the compound. Now, he is moving away feeding after feeding back that information back to his team. Mosgoku need to continue on to loot. Now, he only has a level one vest and in this sort of smaller map, you need the vest in. You need that vest for the later part of the game. I think what they really need right now is, um, well, for Zix, apparently he doesn't have anything. I kind of question where he is heading because he's looking at the ground just now. Last Survivor, each one with a micro Uzi, no vest whatsoever. But uh, will they be okay for Last Survivor right now? Because um, uh, I hope there won't be any issues. I'm kind of scared because they are looking at the grounds. But yeah, back about the game. Axis and PX, they have dingles in between. Can Sans just quietly get out from here or he will be caught up by Appy? slowly closing in and shorting the distance between them. I don't think Sun can get away from them. Maybe he can take Epi down if he got himself some weapons here. We're talking about maybe have to face this one now in case that UMP is not going to be enough for Epi. Um, he oh, will... Hang on. I mean, he's oh. wide my way for him. Look at the oh. different angle there. It took him some time. Sass get that extra kill. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, what? Wasn't was sad like just standing at the corner. Epi did not see him at all. What really? Really? That is okay. Very interesting because well, Sun was just dancing and, and not standing, literally just standing still there. <laughs> really? Uh, what? Uh, I, I'm really confused here. I I think I, I I think one of them need to really change their glasses. Okay, I, I'm really confused there. Okay, that's really surprising. They got Appy just now. I thought Appy had it, but apparently Sun is just, hey, hello, I'm a mannequin. You didn't see me, and he didn't see him. And just pretend not there. It's not there. Well, Team Secret and Pinan, they will get themselves one vehicle so far, but the rest of the team will go on foot here, probably. And uh, they're having some time here to get themselves onto that vehicle. Uh, but yep, everybody will back on foot, and we're going to see if it's gonna be anybody bumping into each other in the first place when it comes to first place it's not much fight going on unless they don't have to drop anything with it with psg and also we're looking at rsg at the same time mm -hmm. 
Yep, yeah, they're knocked out. Now we do keep on Wuru here with a knockdown onto one of them. Managed to take out Wu Kim and then again the revenge comes in onto the side of Pumburu. And now Pumburu is being knocked down as well. Small boy trying to find a good angle, but Superman, the Superman for ESG, is still prepping the grenade there. Probably will pop it out on the side of Small Boy. Now Small Boy need to evade, but the grenade from Super like a super grenade, we call it. Managed to get the knockdown onto Small Boy. Another grenade. Green Sota is sent out by the by Super Light. He has a micro Uzi getting ready there, but looks like a knockdown onto the side. Bota will immediately need to use his first aid kit. Need to recover because the rest of RNG, they are still close down. But the grenade again. Oh my goodness. This is grenades galore. Managed to clean up. ESG, ESG be the first one to bow out. At the same time, look at Noriko body in just now. Team B pop in the kill fit, but Team Secret now with what they have, they need to revive you are who's grooming it strong to so the begging for his savior. But Hydra and the rest of Bigatron will go this really, really aggressive. Look at how they corner every angle possible. Boy can come up from the other side, and Boy can manage to wipe the rest of Team Being. Team Secret being wiped out at the bottom two here. This is not going to do well for them because they are really trying to fight themselves as a top spot. Too soon for them so far. That will affect the whole standings when it comes to overall. But Team No Recall, they bought it in for ESG versus RSG just now. Team No Recall getting that flush over uh, Resurgent side who happened to reset themselves already done with the Iron side on Steven. Up against oh, Resurgence, they still have all four team members though. Team No Recall as well, but in terms of utilities, probably Resurgence use a good amount of utilities in the earlier fight. And now Team No Recall have that utility advantage over them. Still a tiny quite a good angle here. We can see the spread out from Team No Recall. They probably go for the flanks here, but the spread from RSG is not bad as well. They have place themselves quite well in terms of the terrain behind the stones waiting for them to advance and now these two teams mexican standoff ladies and gentlemen and it is only still the first circle now back to the spray beautiful spray by Fulky that knocked one down but will it be enough we're talking about they are slowly crawling into fighting head on resurgence and you know we're trying to show off who actually better when it comes to CQ like on right now in the middle range trying to clean that kill up they managed to get one point at on Simbi but every point matters so much like diamonds they were talking about resurgence take one down on team no recall here they force you retreat team no recall cannot stand that the economy is being depleted really fast at this point they need to reset themselves ammunition wise i don't think they have enough there to prolong that fight so team no recall trying to get the loot back up again Ah, losing Sinbi is just not good. They, now they have to fight with three team members, but RSG is still on their side. They do have full squad here, RSG, and now they're not letting Team No Recall go easily. Volki here putting a lot of pressure on the side of Team No Recall. Trying to find a good angle there, but not going to be easy as well. But looks like they may want to go for it and finish the job here. We see here, Volki, he is advancing, trying to take a flank here, trying to make a different angle. If you do see the formation from RSG advancing slowly but surely, getting closer and closer to the side of Team No Recall. Now, what will Team No Recall do? Will they have enough utilities? Will they have enough ammo? And now Stewart has been knocked out by Iron Pro. Team No Recall is now falling apart. Stewart, Half-Life now, bleeding out for sure. And now, looks like Team No Recall is falling apart. Lo, you have been knocked down as well. Only one more team member left. Aga, can he pull a clutch here? It's going to be tough, but it's not impossible. Boki, picking out the grenade, will be tossed on the side. Aga, and there you go. Will it be a Kobe scoring a three-pointer? But looks like Woo! not yet. But Boki, still fending out. Aga, a little bit more. Woki, can you just finish up the job here? But then again, maybe his teammates will do it. And yes, there you go. Team No Recall, unfortunately, out at 14th place. This is Sandhawk. This is a wild card map. We're talking about all the top contenders and the top tiers there. Top five players all knocked down and away, including Team No Recall there. We're down to 13 teams only. Every team now, when it comes to Sandhawk, it's anybody's game. And still, you do, gang. They will get themselves that first place here, apparently, because why? They're hanging on to this, still surviving longer than Team Secret, who is one of their closest contenders, but now down to the front. Okay, so apparently those who are happy cannot be too happy because uh, apparently they're having some issues. Like, I kind of question it since the start of the game just now because of um, how everybody kind of, you know, looking at the ground and not seeing uh, the right things. But yeah, 
probably we're gonna have a remake because there's some technical issues again uh hopefully it will go smoother for the next one we're already halfway though yep sadly but that's life sometimes you just cannot avoid things to happen yeah well it, it, it happens ladies and gentlemen but then again well it's gonna be a remake here after this but well remake we'll see new new fly path new circle that's possible there ladies and gentlemen so while we wait for the remake to actually happen we can just look at these teams actually making those rotations now this is also possible probability and also some little bit of study for some of these teams opportunity as well because well they have dropped down at where they will be and well they can take that as a little bit of reference point there but well, it could be rotated again later on. We we don't know, right? Because these teams are best of the best. They sometimes they don't stick to only one strategy. They can switch it up at any time they want. They, I'm sure they would have like a plan A to Z, right? So they have everything all in the book. But here we go. Some little action before we go for the remake. Axis MPX on the side of Dingo's. Not have been knocked down. And San is still hanging on behind the tree. Are we really having one? It doesn't seem like we will be because Axis mm. is fighting against Dingoes for now. I'm gonna wait and see for the final verdict. Uh, Cruise, but back to that. Dingoes kind of stuck underneath that big, big tree. We're looking at Chick going in there and tossing it over the nade to finish off the kills without any harm onto him. Jumping over, which is gonna gig fam getting that kill fit as well. So I'm not sure how this is going for now. Hmm, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure as well, but I guess we can take it that, okay, since the action is still ongoing and there's no information from, from our marshal so far, we don't see the, the usual, re so we can continue, we can consider that the game continues on for now here, ladies and gentlemen. So looking at this, the airdrop M249 with a sniper suppressor, mm, I'm not too sure what's that for, again, something okay. that they can throw at their opponents and just knock them out, maybe that's what they're going to do with the suppressor. Okay, there you go. That's a little bit of uh, miscommunication from our side. I'm really sorry. That's no remake coming up. So we will go into the game here right now. Oh, sorry, apologies from our side there. But Resurgence, we're back into where we were. Resurgence getting most men. Seven kills on their side. Twelve teams left. Just still on the second phase. While Resurgence is looking at Voki. Voki, he knows there's a whole huge chunk of men here. Coming in, running towards him. He's bigger Tron. And there you go. Iron Pro will be knocked a little bit when it comes to himself there. Not knocked down yet, but clip a lot of his HP. We're looking at really going aggressive. Yeah, Victor Trump getting himself four kills. It's half of research and seven. The both teams will not stand down when it comes to getting that fight going on for their kill points. Mm -hmm. And now looks like they're not letting go of each other there. So Bigatron looks like they need to find a way out of here. They are losing a lot of team members there. Boyka is bleeding out. Rocky is low but managed to heal up himself. And now Hydra will join up together with Zully. Now RSG, they have been bossing this map so far. Boyka will bleed out. Doesn't look like Rocky will go for the save here. May leave his team captain slash coach slash manager slash everything all in the hut. And now Voki will continue the advancement. Small boy will finish on Boyka. And now two team members from Bigatron. They are still outside. They need to combine together. And now it's three all together. It's four against three. Just look at the minimap. The advancement from RSG onto the side of Bigatron. Ah, it's going to be tough for them. They will be pinned back at that one location. Oh, look at that. The firing power coming up from the uh, resurgence. Trying to pressure on the side of Bigatron. And now it's reverse situation. Where Bigatron, who marching into their territory first just now. Where Voki at. But they got their boys downtown there. Trying to get that kills over resurgence and Bigatron. They are going to force this fight out. Resurgence Y2K on top of this hill. Making sure he's on top of the watchtower. The every angle direction will be covered by him so far. And Resurgence will he take up the fight here. Probably just going to back him down. Bigatron will force to a retreat. And trying to not making themselves too exposed for the positions. Because they cannot take this fight. There's not much covers here. Because on the higher ground, Resurgence have that advantage. And Bigatron are really smart when it comes to setting one down. Oh, absolutely. Lots of advantage there from the side of Resurgence. But, 
We'll need to see here, Bigatron, they are good with terrains and they are good with the long shot. So we'll see how they want to deal with this. Iron Pro taking a lot of damage there, but Hydra have been knocked down by Voki from afar. And now Zali and Rocky will need to fend this out or they need to save their teammate. Iron Pro will immediately pop out the first AK. Voki will try to find a different angle, try to find where they can get their target. And now Zali is just in between there. Can they get a quick switch out? Oh, nope, looks like it's going to be tough there. Voki taking a lot of damage there. Now down to about 20% of health. He needs to reset himself. Y2K will come in as they follow up, support, and on to the side of Bigatron. Mm, and now they are trying to tap each other out with a long distance shot for that small boy. Oh, so this one. A lot of sprays come out. Roki and that connected straight on top of small boy. He's crawling. Zali tried to reverse it back for resurgence. I am pro clean kill at that with Zali getting one more point for the team. But they lost Boyka along the process and Hydra is knocked down for now. Their lack of manpower, but it's not showing any flaws at all for the side of Bigatron so far. Resurgence is trying to win this fight and now forced back to where where they were for Bigatron playing around at where they usually spawn at. But, but now resurgence. Trying to hover around, reading the uh, reading the positions. Y2K passing back the information towards the team here. Exact position and direction that they'll be walking onto for Bigatron. Voki waiting for this side because there will be other teams trying to butt in as a third party later on. I'm slightly surprised that it's taking so long for researchers to actually clear off Bigatron because, well, researchers have the numbers and they're good at this kind of combat. But okay, so, but kudos to Bigatron really that they are still hanging on to this. And this may just, this may just make researchers lose their interest because you can't focus on one team for too long. As you mentioned just now, another team could be lurking over them. Now, moving over to another team here, Axis MPX, Expert and White. Causing the grenade on to the side of Aikuda and oh, one grenade, one knock. That is an absolute three-pointer there by Dylan. Beautiful indeed. No other team members for Aikuda to help him and he will be sacrificed. One point to Expert MY for sure. And he needs a uh, dealer will finish this one off easily with a micro Uzi. He can just push that one out if he wants, but check. Just gonna tank the blue for a bit. He knows this is not his best position to go out from that house. That's where he wants to stay and it will be decided to stay on lo longer to be like this because the moment he step out from this building, it will be his life ending there as well instantly while looking over the next circle is just on top of fun on the outskirts of paradise resort who used to be resurgence drop points but apparently bapa r and fv also tara already got himself right smack in the middle or resurgence playing around the rooms they only have two men left on their side you do you the gang going to uh bump into last survival on that direction while bigotron will have to pass through again resurgence for another round two fight Mm -hmm. And now looks like we do see here three teams locked down in a similar compound. But then again, Tara, they are in the circle. So, so the blue will give pressure to a number of teams on the outer side of the circle right now because it is closing. This is the fourth circle. So this is where, as you always say, the great migration happens. Now, Arm have eyes on the side of Bapa. Ah, Bapa are still at top 12 here. So they could sneak into the top 10 if they can continue on their defense or can get into the circle quickly. Now, but Tara is gatekeeping. So it's not going to be easy for any of these teams to actually make their way into the circle. Y2K looks like he's been knocked down on the other side by Trixnity. So not looking good for resurgence on one side, but Trixnity is all alone and his teammates are far away. Points for killing here, going as aggressive as they can. They are really desperate to go for that kill and also that trick. And this is their chance to make a remake for what they have lost or re uh for what they have lost for the first days. And now, Baba are trying to get the or for Kika, who is covering the Tara and gets to it at the same time. Every already make a move around net net, they uh, pin down by the unit and she's still having a hard time trying to finish off each other. At the same time, Evi going against net and last survival, you will have to fight Tara and Bapa Aya if this prolong for another couple of minutes, which resurgence and also Evi marching into their direction too. Mm, and yes, definitely, we do see here a lot of teams starting to converge with each other. Last survivor, they are across Bapa Up, but it is three versus three at this point. Most Goku, they're all in the same house though, so it's a little bit of a risk there if any grenade does 
go on to their side. So my Bapa, a little bit spread out there by Bapa, a little bit better for them now. Jack still trying to fend off Dylan. Dylan been knocked down by Ziggs actually. It is a kill still, a little bit of a kill still there by the side of the last survivor. But that only gives information towards Drax that they, he does know now that there's opponents in the other side of the house now. Yudu Gang, they are in the circle though. So it is theirs to defend at this point. The circle is closing in and we will move to the fifth circle soon. Jumper, have a little bit of high ground there. Knows that expert and why Romeo is on the other side. Now they need to take care of their flanks. Mm, they cannot be too safe or too comfortable with what they are. Anytime anybody can throw them a surprise birthday party at this point, you don't want that to happen. It's not the time for having parties here. You do get finding over this around the rim and playing it out very safe, but the circle will not favor them. Expert, they caught up, but Jumper got punished straight out there. Last clip of health that's left, really slither of health remaining while Man Parang trying to jump, making sure he got all the vegetations covered there in case somebody is proning bigatron gazali manager knocked down on eox and fv already make a move fv is actually quite aggressive this time a lot of it is on their side here papa also the same thing going against Sarah and zali going against gig at the same time we're talking about evos have to butt in between and mosgoku hovering around you to against positioning we're looking over last survivor mosgoku and also and nasty with that brutal uaz from last game will he do another big uh kill here for this map sunhaw Mm, and now it looks like we do see a last survivor they want to get into the circle but Bapa are just gatekeeping like nobody's business not allowing anyone to get into the circle now Tara they need to get in as well but Bapa they need to cover multiple flanks it's not easy trying to cover it with multiple angles just like this and in this sort of house it's not so good for them but then again they need to do their best because last survivor if not they will overtake that and they will definitely flush out Bapa ah. it's the only ticket in it's an open road in front of them so it's either you take out Bapa ah, or you cannot cross the road it's only two options and now looks like one team member Bapa ah, Jenny has been knocked down by last survivor and SP now that will open up the opportunity for last survivor they are starting the siege onto the side of Bapa ah. they're getting really close and Zig going in Hitting the front here, and it's where the mic goes in. Not even not that Bapa ah, have been cleared out by last survivor. Holy smoke, that's an aggressive and bouncy move coming up from Zix just now. Making a clutch for the team to be flushing out Bapa ah from their spot. And Bapa could not reset or even revive from that point while on the side of the others. Playing it out in the blue, we're looking at place and finish of one of YouTube gang and Tara hovering around FV. FV is playing it differently this time. Is it they are more comfortable when it comes to Sunhawk throwing and cooking that nade arm, trying to land it on top of any victim next? While well, Masabu he's not being spotted out yet, but there you go. Rocky oh. spot him out, but it took him some time to actually reverse that or even take up the reaction. That's a free kill come out from Rocky and make a shot. And one more look around the direction Akira fall off to their hands again Bigatron is actually unstoppable look at that 10 kills with one round Bigatron is trying to rack up their kills getting themselves a top three because just now team secret having a big big floor going out way too soon than the others this gave a lot of window opportunity for Bigatron to get themselves at top three Oh, the moment you say 10 kills for Bigatron immediately became 12 kills. They are rampaging this and they are making their way into the circle now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now down to top 6 teams. We now last survivor managed to clear out Bapa ah and getting into the compound and into the circle. The next circle, who will favor? That will be a big, big, big question here. Last survivor, they still have 3 team members on their side. Pretty stocked up it seems by Mos Goku. And now we move over to another team here. Just look at their right side here. Yuru Gang is in the circle as well, so that will pose a big, big challenge. Zali have been knocked down here. He try and Rocky need to save him, but okay, it's good before. But good thing they have smoke set to cover them a little bit. Yuru Gang playing with the duo. We have seen the duo from Yuru Gang before. Can they do it again? 
Oh, what it's against La Survivor. They have been persistent, getting themselves at top three constantly for the last couple of games. Yeah, La Survivor really want to go for the grand finals top three. We're talking about beating the best of the best. Well, Bigatron won the same thing for them. So everybody is the same objective, of course. We're talking about a grand finals here. Tara, on the other hand, not having too much men, will play this very, very quietly. X Arm is the only remaining members of Tara Esports. Goku trying to give a lot of pressure on this side while well, you do like you said only duo on this and shredded helmet and vest that a jumper really need to um replace the gears that he had because it won't last long enough if he got sniped away uh from a long distance oh yeah definitely need to do that but it's gonna be tough now because all the teams are converging and this is an open spot so not sure where they're gonna get, get their loot but only if they can get advantage of any other teams now looking at the circle last survivor they have the circle on their side new to gain somewhat in the circle but they still need to move a little bit more because the circle this is the seventh circle it is very very painful and now we do see here arm um, just making it into the circle last team member for tara hanging out for positioning points for his team now now, last survivor was Goku cooking up the grenade onto one side, which is the side of Yudu Gang, but I don't think it'll connect. No, it does not connect yet because Yudu Gang is way above the hill. He has a lot of 8 kits, but it won't be enough. He doesn't have any boost on his side for most Goku here. A little bit exposed himself way too much when he tossed that nade just now. While Jabba tried to just return the favor. Last Survivor, they don't want to overlook themselves on the flanks because Jabba will take that advantage and use it to full potential. We're talking about Jabba landed that one on SSP. He's cooking one more. He knows exactly where the position of Last Survivor now with that nade just being a Kobe at the same time. But it's really low when it comes to the gear. Can he try to approach this one now? You do with uh, Manparang on the other side. And most Goku playing is safe, taking that buggy. But if that explodes, it will be really tough for Lost Bubba to come out from this. Aside from that, they are playing along the hill here. Uh, Manparang and Japa pressuring a lot on the side of Lost Survival. While the blue takes in, we're looking at Tara playing the healing game. But Manparang will finish off by playing zone. And now NSP got caught by Jumper. It's all down to Jumper here. Manparang crawling behind him. But he doesn't have any more options. Doesn't have all the time. But oh, now oh. won't count it. Lost Survival. They won this game. The play zone just finished off Tara last minute. Getting themselves really close to that second and third position. If only, only that jumper waited a little bit more, they got themselves second. But no, Tara X on um, patience got themselves at top two here. But last survivor again, one more chicken for.